Hundreds of mourners braced the heat to bid farewell to Humuto Muachi and Manchana Sikhovela. Their bodies were found by a passerby along this road. The families of the deceased are adamant that they were killed elsewhere and dumped here. They are struggling to accept their loss. To be honest, we are still in tears. You know, I don't have many words to say, but the only thing I know is that we are in an awkward position because we don't know the cause of the of the death of our daughter. We only know that we only found our our daughter lying on the road early in the morning. So the policemen are still investigating. When we try to find the, to get the closure, they only tells us that they are still investigating. So I think we are only waiting for the, the post mortem report to tell us what happens to our daughter. This situation really hurts us a lot. We are also heard that police have since never visited our home. We only saw them when they come to the scene to remove the body. The two women were last seen on Monday night when they departed home for a tavern in a nearby village. They allegedly left the tavern after midnight in the company of three other patrons and are believed to have hitchhiked a ride in a double cab buggy. Police are looking for the driver and say preliminary investigations show that the pair died of head injuries sustained when they jumped from a moving vehicle. This is the spot where Moachi and Sikhovela's bodies were found. According to their families and community members who were the first to arrive at the scene, there were no visible bruising or death that indicated that they had jumped out of a moving vehicle. In fact, one of them had a handbag secure around his shoulder. Biman Baloi, SABC News, Bismarck Village in Sikororo.